sometimes you feel like you just need you just want to run away from your issues and that is not the solution Welcome back to my channel. My name is Precious K. For those of you who are new here, thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. So as you guys can see by the title of today's video, we're going to be doing a book review, which is something that's really different on my channel. I am an, I do love to read. I was going to say I'm an avid reader, but I'm not an avid reader, but like I love to read, which you guys would probably have seen on my channel as well. Um, but I thought to just do a book review uh, for a change on my channel. I do want to make this like a recurring thing on my channel so if you are interested in seeing that then just keep on watching so um some of my youtube friends on here actually do book reviews quite often um one of them is leah and angel i will link their channels down below but um i do see that they do these book reviews and it's just such a nice um video to watch especially if you are looking for like book recommendations um having these sort of videos on youtube is just so amazing to me personally because you can see a real life experience of someone who's actually read the book before you go ahead and purchase it so the book that we are going to be reviewing or speaking about today is my week with him by joya goffney this is what the book looks like so the first thing that i want to say about this book is is that it is a romantic fiction book which if you know me personally you know that i do not read fiction okay well i did not read fiction before i got introduced to this author so this is actually the second book of hers that i'm purchasing um the first book that i purchased by her is called excuse me while i ugly cry if you think you guys would like me to review that book as well then i will definitely do that but this is the book that i have with me here so i thought i'd just review this one so first and foremost i was looking for a fiction read i was very tired of reading quote unquote serious books so I wanted to just explore my imagination a little bit, which I haven't done in so long. And I came across this author. Now, there are a couple of things that I do look for when I'm looking for a book. But when it came to um, a fiction book, I was like, where do I even go? So I know that I love like romance novels. I love romance in general. So I knew that was sort of the route that I wanted to take with this. So when I came across Joya, I actually think I found her on TikTok. TikTok is like one of the best places if you're also looking for book reviews because I came across um, a TikTok account that had posted her book and I was like, let me check her out and it was available in South Africa, which I was so ecstatic about. So I wanted a romance novel for sure. I wanted something that would just be like cute and airy and easy to read. Again, I am a beginner when it comes to like fiction, so I didn't want anything that was too intricate or too too complicated um and a lot of people seem to say that this was a really really good book you can obviously go on google and check reviews and all of that which is what i did when i purchased the book so let's get into the actual book so i just want to speak about a few of the things that i absolutely loved about my week with him um so it is a very nice representation of black people black love which is something that i really love seeing um sort of that representation even in books movies whatever i love supporting my black people so i loved that she was a black author and that the characters themselves were black as well so that was something that i was very excited about um it is like teenage rom-com so if you're not into like that teenage rom-com type of vibe then you might think that this is a little bit silly but i love that i'm young at heart so i love that let's um, get into the sort of story i don't want to give it away too much just in case one of you do go ahead and read the book but i just loved that it was a story between two best friends and how he helped her in a way that she didn't even think he could so just for context the character nikki um which i would say she's like the main character in the in the book she had some issues with her mother um again i liked this aspect of the book because it showed sort of like day-to-day -day issues that people actually experience in real life so she did have some issues with her mom and they are sort of themes of like i wouldn't say abuse maybe like emotional abuse i guess between um nikki and her mother so she thought that she would just run away you know um 
pursue her career in a different state and when her sister goes missing she actually has to stay in the city that she was trying to run away from and her best friend actually shows her all the reasons why she should stay in state and she is sort of confronted with all the issues that she tried to run away from which you guys know in in real life that happens all the time sometimes you feel like you just need you just want to run away from your issues and that is not the solution and Nikki um, sort of shows us this in the book while her and her best friend that um, she had a crush on for like years um, he sort of shows her like all the reasons that she should stay in the city and they just sort of follow along on this journey of like being friends hanging out having different experiences um, and it's just such a lovely 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 read another thing that i really loved about this book was just how they showed how much strength um the character exuded especially when it came to her relationship with her mom as well as her desire to pursue a career that is not well in this case wasn't so mainstream she wanted to go to another state to become a singer so it just shows that you should definitely follow your passions and there's a way to like balance your passions and your family and your love life and all of that which i feel like nikki did learn at the end so yeah i absolutely love that aspect of the book and then the last thing that i absolutely loved about the book is just the relationship between friends um nikki of course and her best friend malachi just seeing their dynamic and how they treated one another and how much he supported her he supported her so much at times i wanted to like literally if i was her friend i probably want to strangle her but he was so patient with her which i absolutely was just like wow what a man what a great great guy so that was like the final aspect if you are sort of into rom-coms or like teenage youth sort of vibes and you should definitely check this book out i absolutely loved it so that brings us to the end of today's video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed that very short book review i didn't want to give too much away but i do want to share why i liked it let me know if you guys want me to do more of these on my channel and i will but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye